Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So finally we had this uh, bigger dump that we were expecting here on the halfening or after the halfening, but it happened before expected. So it happened tonight, overnight, in a couple of minutes and we bounce in a very important point. There is what we're gonna see once we're coming to the bigger time frame. But right now we also have to look quickly on the smaller time frames where we are right now because we are again consolidating here and the question is are we going to go back towards 10k or do we continue to crash towards six thousand dollar this is what we have to analyze right now and before we start with the time frames remember that we closed the cmes on ten thousand and eighty dollars on friday so wherever we are going to open again we're going to have a new future gap up to this price point and as you know it is very likely that bitcoin goes immediately to close those gaps before continuing the up or down trend and the question of course is if we're going to have this big future gap are we going to close it immediately or is it a gap that maybe could stay open for quite some time so we can start now in the one hour because of course uh, now we came into oversold territory in the stochastic and also in the RSI we are right now retracing back up so we had this big bounce from eight, around $8,100 straight up to $8,800 so to this fib line here and we already are struggling to break through here but I'm pretty confident that most likely we're gonna retrace back up towards a 20 moving average in the one hour or four hour which is around $9,000 but let's see if this is gonna be a sustainable recover back up above 9000 or is it just a retest of these new resistance points up here and this possible gap feeling towards 10k before another big leg down so if we go over to the bollinger band you see that after that we overshoot to the downside we completely retrace back down here into the middle area the macd is having a bullish cross here so we could expect the price again to retest this nine thousand dollar pretty soon and if we go over to the four hour time frame you can see that we came very close to the 200 moving average in the four hour we were completely oversold in the stochastic and rsi and right now it looks like that we're coming back up to possible test here the 50 and 20 moving average in the for our which could give us now resistance so we have to see what happened once we're going to test again the 20 moving average in the four hour is this now the new resistance or are we able to break through and trade again above the 20 moving average in the four hour this is what we have to see once we're coming up to test this 9k again and if we go over to the four hour you can see that after having this bearish cross in the MACD which we also saw yesterday we had this uh, big sell-off now and we are retracing back down into the Bollinger Band again and also here you can see we could go up here between 9400 to 9600 to test again the middle area here and remember that yesterday in my live stream we talked about that we have a bearish divergence in the four hour time frame and also in the daily time frame we had this hidden bearish divergence and this could be the play out which doesn't mean that this is over and that we're not going to see any more a dump so it is possible that we could go even down to 6k before a potential big bounce towards 10k again the good thing is that here now we cooled off the rsi and the stochastic back down into the middle area so we could in theory see now a bigger bounce to the upside again towards 10k but in case that we're gonna lose here the 50 level in the rsi prepare to see the play out towards 6k so far you can see that we bounce perfectly at the 200 daily moving average and it also looks like that we could even close today above the 20 daily which would be a very bullish sign even though this dump was quite heavy but it happened during the weekend and as you know sometimes on the weekend we have these big pushes and then we retrace back to where we ended on a Friday and if you have a look on the Bollinger Band in the daily you can see that we are coming very close to a bearish cross so as I told you yesterday we could be in here for a major dump towards 6k and that's why maybe you should consider to take some profits here at between 9,000 to 10,000 dollar because we could see a bigger correction so you can buy with that money some cheap bitcoins and you're in with more bitcoin so you can multiply it without doing big trades just take a bit profits up here and rebuy towards 6k 
and six thousand two hundred dollar is my target because based on the fibonacci retracement from three thousand eight hundred up to the top that we had so far at ten thousand we could come down here to the point six one eight fib line which is at six thousand two hundred dollar it is very likely that we could go down here before we seeing again a 10k retest up here so this is the price level where i would buy back in if we continue to drop now so in case that we're gonna lose here the 20 and 200 daily moving average watch out for the six thousand two hundred dollar price point for a potential bottom before we're going back up again to 10k but as i told you i still think that most likely on monday or tuesday just before the happening we're gonna see 10k again before a potential bigger dump so we can switch over to the weekly time frame and have a look also here because it looks like that we're gonna have the first week with the red candle so we have to see where we're gonna close today if we can close at least above the 20 weekly moving average so at least above 8k this would be still very bullish for the long term so the important thing is that we're not gonna close again below the 20 weekly and not bring the rsi again below the 50 so as long as we remain in this price level up here everything should be still shifted to the upside and we should be still good to go towards 10,500 and also potentially break it this is what we have to see once we're gonna open again on monday and of course also it's gonna depend how the stock market are gonna trade during the week because i think bitcoin could also follow the stock market since now we are coming into a potential top out in the price the MACD in the weekly is still looking fine so here we had a bullish cross and we maybe should consider to buy this dip and not to panic sell but as I told you we could be in here for a dump towards 6k as well but if you have already some fiat on the sideline maybe consider to wait now if we start to moon right now you should be good but if we see another bigger dump you can rebuy cheaper bitcoins but this price that we are in right now here this $8,800 I think we are right in the middle and we have to wait and see where the the next move is heading to so the play out of this bearish divergence in the four hour and also the hidden bearish divergence in the daily time frame already played out we could see maybe another short lift dump but i think we should be still good to go to the upside and we have to wait till tomorrow till the markets are gonna open again and remember guys if you want to take advantage of these big dumps and pumps that we are having here and you want to use small amounts then you have to trade over on bybit or femix because on these exchanges you can trade up to 100x leverage and you find the invitation links down below here in the video description if you need a Bybit, Femex, Prime XPT or BTR exchange account because with all these four exchanges you can get some rewards and sign up bonuses if you use my invitation links so go down below and use the invitation links to open up an account and on all of them you can trade uh, with uh, leverage and also please join our free discord trading chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome here you get the latest updates and announcements everything and please also join the live streams over on twitch you find also the invitation link down below here in the video description so thank you very much for watching guys leave a like if you like the content subscribe to the channel and we see us all in the next one bye